Good morning, everyone. You're watching Atlanta & Company. I'm Christine Pilara. So great to be with you. Summertime is the right time for tackling home improvement projects. Home improvement expert Brian Kelsey joins us this morning with some do-it-yourself for less makeover tips. Brian, I like that for less part. How are you today? <laughs> Good morning, Christine. I'm very well, thanks. Yeah, for less. And, you know, these things takes a little bit of thought and the right tools and you really don't have to spend a lot of money. The thing is you have to really make sure you follow through with all these projects. That's sort of the key. So let me get started and take you through these. Great. Um, one of the first things you really need to think about are tools. Now, Christine, I don't know if you have any power tools at home. Sure, I but do. But if you're going to get one, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I, I personally uh, don't. My I mean, husband does. My household does. <laughs> Yeah, well, as long as it's somewhere in the house. I love this tool here. This is a Dremel Ultra Saw, three in one saw, and I like it oh, because nice. um, it does so many different things. You know, so if you don't have many tools, you don't have a lot of money for all these different tools, get something like this. It's really powerful, it cuts through anything. So, any kind of project you have wood, metal, you know, plexiglass. I use it uh, to replace tile. You know, if you break a wow. tile, you can use it to kind of cut out the grout and pop it out. Very, very easy. Powerful um, and really, really does a lot of different things, which is, again, is really, really key. And actually, if you go to their Facebook page, uh, they are having a contest where if you just simply upload a picture of your dad, your ultra dad, doing something cool, you could win $5,000. So, nice. something to definitely check out. Great, great tool. I really, really like this. Let's talk about painting because, again, that is one of the projects, that's one of the first things people do when they're kind of stepping into the DIY world. So, right. we're going to start out small. We took a, a mirror here. And we just basically painted on top of it. You can see it's gold, and we painted just the top of it. We didn't want to go all the way through because we wanted that kind of gold to come through the bottom. There, it's How a really, cool. really nice tip to sort of make it a 3D uh, project. You know, you can use a paint or roller or whatever. And I love this paint, by the way, Shabby Paints. You can check them out at shabbypaints.com uh, because so many of these paints are so volatile to the environment and to yourself. Right. Uh, shabby Paints, they are totally organic. 100% VOC free, biodegradable, the whole thing. Actually, they exceed the green building standards. Um, so it's very, very good product for you, the environment. And look at the look at the finished product. It looks it's great. Great. You can use a yeah. You can use a roller or a brush, whatever you, whatever you have to apply it. And they've got a great Facebook presence as well. Um, they've got designers and, and different people on on you know kind of on their page that can help you out with questions. Now, once you're done doing all this. It's time to go shopping. Good. We headed over to Kohl's <laughs> and, you know, listen, for not a lot of money, again, back to the not a lot of money part, you know, these pillows were, what, $25, Cute. I think they were, over at Kohl's, and they add so much to a room. Even if you haven't done any DIY, this will add a, a, a good, you know, kind of change and freshen up to the room. I also really like these vintage mason jars. This is one of my favorite Love because, that. I mean, obviously you can have great drinks in there for the summertime, but <laughs> you can get a bunch of them. You can put sand in them, shells. You know, flowers, whatever you have, or just get a bunch of them and put them around. These were, I think, $10 over at Kohl's as well. And different, you know, tea lights and all sorts of different accessory, accessories really finish off your DIY project. So you have to go full circle. You got to do the whole thing and finish it off uh, just like this. And your project will take no time at all and not a lot of money. I love that. I love it all. And you know what? I think even that painting job, I think I could even handle that because I'm not so of crafty. Of course. Why couldn't you? Exactly. Yeah. It, it looks Th that easy. Yeah, well, you know, it's just, again, it's just, it's just taking the time and, and going, following through, finish it off. I mean, that doesn't take, how long did that take? In five minutes? Right, You know, right. to cover it and let it dry. It was, it's great. It's very, very easy. Brian, thank you so much. Great tips. We appreciate your time this morning. Happy summer. Thank you. You too. Thank you.